Welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe. All support to the channel is always very much appreciated. So in this video we are taking a look at the What If Wave final figure which is of course Sylvie from the TV show on Disney Plus, Loki. Played by Sofia Di Martino. So straight away you get the figure as well as two additional hands as well as her sword which has got a really nice finish on it. I must admit the details in the handle there are really nice and the paintwork seems to be quite good quite spot on and the color of the blade is a nice sort of metallic -y pearl shade as well we also get the watcher's cape but i'll get into the watcher builder figure in another video so let's get straight into the figure so let's pop that head off straight away and take a closer look at the head sculpt just a note there that it is using the new style of kind of ball pegs so it can pop out from the neck or from the head but actually looking at the sculpt it's a really nice an accurate face sculpt. They've obviously used their photo tech and I think that it does the actress and the character in the show a lot of justice. It's nice it's got the crown on here with the kind of single horn and just pops back on nice and simply. Let me just give it a push. Really simply pops back on. Now one thing that people noted from very early production shots is that this figure comes with a got a fixed in place cape. Once you take the cape off the figure has full articulation that you would expect um, there's an, a lot of articulation there and the costume underneath the cape is pretty accurate to how she looked in the show. I really like the Sylvie character. I thought that she was really cool. I really like the idea of the variants and the female variant of Loki. Um, I would say spoilers, but the show's been out for a long time. So if you haven't seen it already, you probably wouldn't be watching this review anyway. I really like the way that the character looks with the cape on. I really like that look for the figure. So I'll probably display her with the cape. But it is good to know that you can take the cape off and she's got full articulation. So if you are doing any pictures or setting up any kind of dioramas or anything, there's that option as well. But I think for the sake of not just throwing it in a box, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of display the figure something along the lines of this. Just so that she can represent how she looked when she had her cape. Um, and there's obviously the hood on the back there as well, but you can't actually... Do anything with that is fixed in place i really like this kind of open hand as well and then i've swapped one of the hands out for the gripping hand so that she can hold her weapon now if i bring in loki from the tv show and i'll also grab uh, mobius as well these are the other two loki tv show figures that we've had and i think the three of them together look really quite cool and they obviously tell the story arc between the three characters as well so it's good that we've got a physical representation of these guys in marvel legends form but for the time being, let me just move them out of the way. And I'm going to bring in two different versions of Loki. Now, this first one is from Avengers um, Infinity War. And I pulled him in because I think that their costumes are very similar. And then this is the one from, obviously, the original Avengers lineup. Quite a hard one to get hold of nowadays. But there is something about him that's really cool. The only drawback about him is he is very short in comparison to some of the other figures. So I kind of hide him away at the back of my shelves. But for the time being, I just want to have a look at these two. The Infinity War version of Loki and obviously the Sylvie figure. Just because I think you can really see where the Sylvie's kind of costume drew inspiration. When you look at the tones of the green and obviously the tones of the kind of darker black kind of green colour. I think it's really nice to kind of have these guys side by side and they look like variations of each other. Obviously, we never saw Loki kind of suit up in the uh, TV show. He was always in the TVA kind of scrubs and the shirt and the jacket, etc. Um, whereas, obviously, looking at these two side by side, you can really see how Loki and Sylvie would make a decent team when all kind of suited up. So I hope that there is some kind of future there where we see something very similar to this. But as far as an action figure goes, because at the end of the day, this is an action figure five minute figure review. She is really cool. There was a lot of hype when they released uh, images of her online and I think that the figure does live up to the hype. I think the articulation is good, I think the accessories are good in regards to the extra hands, the cape and obviously the, the blade as well. I think the likeness is very good, the photo tech is pretty cool. Um, there's the, the cape just to have a look at and there's the green kind of hood. And I think she looks good alongside at least this Loki, the TVA Loki. But then also you've seen what she looks like alongside other versions of Loki. So I think she fits in really well as a Loki variant. I'm really, really pleased. I think the detailing is really good. And I really have zero complaints. I kind of wish that she wasn't part of the What If wave and that she was part of like a Disney Plus wave and we'd got some other uh, real life figures. But I am glad that she came when she did. I find it strange that we got Mobius as an exclusive and we got her as part of the wave. I probably would have done it the other way around. But all in all, she is a great figure to have on the shelf. 
As always, if you're enjoying the five minute figure reviews, then please do like, share, subscribe, and all of those things. Do check out the channel for other five minute figure reviews, including the rest of this line. And obviously any support to the channel is always very much appreciated. But to round up on Sylvie, she's an awesome figure, well worth picking up, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.